Hello everyone. Uh, now we'll see about the metabolism of branch chain amino acids. There are three branch chain amino acids in our body. One is valine, leucine and isoleucine. So valine is glycogenic whereas leucine is ketogenic. Isoleucine is both glycogenic and ketogenic. These are branch chain amino acid and they are essential amino acid. They cannot be synthesized in our body. They have to be supplied in the diet. Actually, all these branch chain amino acids are helping for the muscle growth and production of energy. This can be used as alternate fuel for the brain during starvation. Now we'll see the metabolism of branch chain amino acid. The first step is transamination. Okay, you can see all the three branch chain amino acid in one picture. Leucine, valine and isoleucine. So they undergo transamination. All these are amino acid. So if it undergoes a transamination, it is going to give a keto acid. Okay, so the first amino acid combines with the keto acid to produce the second amino acid and second keto acid. So the enzyme here is transaminase, BCAT, branch chain amino transferase. And it produces branch chain alpha keto acid. So now we'll, we'll see what are the alpha keto acid. Leucine produces alpha keto isocapriate. Valine produces alpha keto isovalerate. Leucine produces alpha keto beta methyl valerate. So the enzyme here is BCAT, branch chain amino transferase. The second step in the metabolism is oxidative decarboxylation. Whenever there is oxidative decarboxylation, of the alpha keto acid, it will produce a CoA derivative compound. For example, if a pyruvate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation, it will give acetyl CoA. Alpha ketoglutarate undergoes oxidative decarboxylation, it produces succinyl CoA. So, all the keto acid are going to give CoA derivatives. So the enzyme here is BCKD, branch chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase. All the oxidative decarboxylation requires thiamine as the coenzyme, okay, in the form of TPP, thiamine pyrophosphate. The third step in the metabolism is FAD dehydrogenation. All this CoA derivatives undergoes FAD dehydrogenation to form this one is leucine metabolism and this one is valine metabolism. Here it is isoleucine. So the compound forms are beta methyl crotonyl CoA, methyl acrylyl CoA. From isoleucine, you are getting tiglyl CoA. They are also producing CoA derivatives by FAD dehydrogenations. The rest of the steps of each metabolism are independent reaction. You know very well, valine is glucogenic. Leucine is purely ketogenic. Isoleucine is both glucogenic and ketogenic. So the valine reaction, this methylacrylyl CoA undergoes series of reaction to give succinyl CoA. This is the compound very very important. When it forms succinyl CoA, it enters into the TCA cycle to give pyruvate, pyruvate which is a glucogenic substance. Next is your leucine. Your beta methyl crotonyl CoA, it undergoes series of reaction and at last it ends in acetoacetate and acetyl CoA. That means it is ketogenic. What about isoleucine? Tiglyl CoA is going to give acetyl CoA and propionyl CoA. But propionyl CoA by series of reaction can form succinyl CoA which enters into the TCA cycle to give the pyruvate. 
So it is both glucogenic and ketogenic compound.